Are you studying for the GED test? If you've ever wondered if you have to buy a calculator or not, then this video is for you. Story time. I once knew a GED test taker who went in and took the test on his first try for the math section and he had his calculator with him. He went out and bought a calculator but he actually failed the math section. And so he went back and he worked hard and he studied really hard and he went in the second try but only this time when he went in he actually forgot his calculator. But he ended up passing anyway. So what was the difference between him having his calculator the first try and then on the second try he didn't have his calculator but he did pass anyway on the second try even though he had been studying with his calculator and he had prepared with his calculator. What was the difference? Let me come back to that in just a second. By the way, if you're new here, my name's Parker. I make videos often to help test takers pass the GED test. Please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you learn anything new. So let me get right into the pivotal question that every GED test taker asks themselves at some point. Maybe you're wondering this right now and perhaps that's why you're here. So do you need to buy a calculator for the GED test? That's the pivotal question. And the short answer is no, absolutely not. You will be provided an on-screen calculator for your GED test. But that being said, there's several reasons why you might want to consider buying a GED calculator. And there's maybe two reasons why you might not want to buy a calculator. So let me try to break this down here. So what are some reasons why you might want to buy the calculator? Well, first of all is peace of mind. So some people view it as just one more thing to worry about having to worry about that on-screen calculator. So they just like to buy that calculator. Another reason is comfort and confidence. Having that calculator in your home and just go, while you're practicing your GD math studying and science studying, you can use that calculator and then when you go into the test and you've got the stress of a test taking condition, you'll have that calculator right there. Another reason is if you're planning to go on to community college or college or go for some kind of further schooling where you're going to need a calculator, you might want to have a good calculator handy. All right, and so another reason is just general time saving on the test. When you go into the test, right, that timer is going to be ticking down and that can be a source of stress for some students. So if you've practiced using your calculator by hand, you might feel more confident doing it that way than clicking the numbers in with the computer mouse, which can be a lot slower and can slow you down. Now, what are some reasons why you might not want to buy the calculator? Well, there's really only two. Number one is really the main reason is the cost and the cost can be a barrier for some people. So let me kind of break it down this way and kind of help you make the decision whether the cost is worth it or not. Ultimately, it's a personal decision, but let me kind of give you a new way to look at this here. So if you think about it, when you go to take the GED test, you're probably going to be paying between $100 and $200 in to get all four sections done. And the reason is because you're gonna to have to, number one, register for each section. So I'm not sure where you're at. It's gonna vary depending on state, but here in Pennsylvania, it's $30 a section. So in Pennsylvania, you pay $30 for each of the four sections. 30 times four is 120, so that's $120 right there. Now for practice tests and for prep books and for whatever other material you need, you know, the cost could run up to about $200, okay? Could be a little less, could be a little more, but on average, most people spend between $100 and $200 over the course of several months or however long it takes them to pass the GED test. So some people look at that and they say, well, you know what, if I'm already going to spend a couple hundred dollars on this, another $20 for a calculator, hey, you know, that's just icing on the cake, no big deal. Let me just pick that up so I can pass and get on with my life. But other people look at it another way. They say, you know what, I'm really strapped for cash right now and I'm already paying all this money to for the other sections of the test. I just don't think $20 is worth it. And you know, hey, either way, it's perfectly understandable. Just up to you to make that decision here. My best advice would be to make sure that you've got the basics covered first. So make sure that you've got the cash to schedule your sections and to buy your prep material like your practice tests and whatever books you're using. I would recommend making sure that you've got the cash for that first and then if you've got extra money go ahead and get that calculator. So what kind of calculator are you allowed to bring to the test? Well there's only one kind of calculator. It's the TI-30XS Multi-View Scientific Calculator. It is kind of a mouthful so don't worry about it. I'll put it down below in the description. I'll link to it on Amazon and also I'll type out the title of it because it is kind of a lot to remember but you can find it at most stores like a Staples or or an electronic store even, or you could try a bookstore, especially a campus bookstore. So if you're taking like a GED prep class through a community college or at a university, their bookstore will probably have it. But if not, I recommend amazon.com. You can find it definitely on there. And I should also mention that it's not just the math, it's also the science and also the social studies that you'll be able to use your calculator for. Now on the math section, it's split up into two different parts, so you're not going to be able to use your calculator on the whole thing. The first five questions, which is part one of the math section, you're going to not be able to use your calculator on. You'll have to do those by hand, but for the majority of the test, for the rest of the questions, you are going to be able to use your calculator on. So how long does it take to learn how to use the GD calculator? Not very long at all. You just want to make sure that you practice with it before you go into the test. So even if you're not buying it, you 
you definitely want to still look at the GED testing service reference guide down below. It's all very simple stuff because if not, you're going to have to try to figure that out when you go into the test and you don't want to do that. So make sure you've at least looked at that beforehand. And if you get the calculator, definitely practice with that calculator beforehand, but it's pretty simple stuff. I'll also put a link down below to an amazing video tutorial that shows you everything that you need to know. So I'm here right now with my kitty cat, Tommy. We just adopted him, my fiance and I, from the SPCA about a couple weeks ago. So he's a new addition around here, but I just wanted to get him on the camera a little bit. Doesn't really have anything to do with the topic, but I do try to make these videos fun. As fun as DVD test taking can really be. But anyway, in conclusion here, I started the video by talking about a test taker who went in and he tried the test for the second time and passed it without his calculator, but the first time he had his calculator and he failed. So what went wrong here? Well, really, the difference was that the second time he actually knew the stuff. He was more prepared and he had the right mindset he was more confident and he had taken the time to learn the stuff so he went in there and having forgotten his calculator didn't even phase him right so the main difference is that it all comes down to your mindset and it comes down to your preparation so the key is that whether or not you choose to use the calculator whether or not you choose to buy the calculator I just want you to know that you know the calculator is only going to help if you actually know how to do the calculation so focus on the basics focus on the math understand the math and then with or without a calculator you should be fine all right so if you understand the math and you know how to do the calculations the calculator is going to make your job a lot easier but one way or the other hey you know you got to know the basic stuff so this is parker from desperatechampions.com and this is tommy and we're gonna peace out here guys um but please subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and good luck with your test taking thank you so much for joining me